Hey, Fred Minnick here, and I have got a another quick tasting for you. The year is starting to pile on, and I'm already behind, probably about 20 whiskeys behind on my, my tasting. So this is back to the iPhone here, these quick, down and dirty reviews. So I appreciate you uh, tuning in, even though there's no highfalutin production behind this. But you will get my opinion on a new whiskey that is a Green River. So this is a, a Green River a Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Now this is actually getting released tomorrow and I'm getting a preview of it. Now Green River is a former famous distillery um, and uh, they are resurrecting the, the label. I've got, I've got a story in the description to tell you more about that. But one of the big things about Green River is that it's now it's the the Owensboro facility it's at it's the former OZ Tyler facility now this is where uh, Terry Bradshaw is getting his whiskey made uh, Charles Woodson is going to start getting his whiskey made there and they also have uh, the brand Will Horse but what they used to do is they used to use rapid aging they used to be part of they used to focus on like their rapid rapid aging technique through Terra Sentia. that was abandoned. So they no longer do that. And Jacob Call, who is, uh, he's got distilling in his genes, he's a very, very good distiller. So now what's coming out of Green River is not been touched, has not been touched with uh, the Terracentia process. So you're looking at pure bourbon here from Green River, their first release. Get that nice little cork right there. And I just love the bottle. Uh, it's got, you know, you know, you'll see close-ups of this since it's an iPhone, you know, not going to get the best shot, but you can take a look at that. Just a beautiful bottle. Really, really, uh, one of my favorite bottles that I have seen, uh, come out and it's just, just absolutely beautiful. So bottles aside, you know, that doesn't mean a whole lot. Uh, it's all about is the whiskey good, right? So going to start with that four point process of tasting here that four point tasting I do I like to start with the color of course with bourbon it always has to go into a new chart oak container and uh, the the color can be an indication of of its time in the barrel and so what we have here we have a really really good looking color there nice clarity you can see that there's just a uh, you know there's some oils you know still in there and it smells great this smells great. This reminds me of a cinnamon roll. Um, so we get a fresh cinnamon roll, maybe even out of Cinnabon in the in the uh, in the mall. Which who's had who's had cinnamon bon in a mall in a while? Then put that in the comments. Like I mean, I think that's very interesting. Have you had cinnabon in a, in a mall or an airport lately? I always smell them. I always smell them walking by, but I actually have never stopped at a Cinnabon and, and, and bought one. I just kind of feel like I'll gain, like, look, I don't need to gain any more weight. I feel like if I buy something from Cinnabon, it's, uh, it's just going to go straight to my hips. I don't need that. Okay. So there's like a tobacco note here too, um, like a, a burning tobacco. So this is like a, like pipe tobacco being smoked. And cinnamon roll. I mean, that's a pretty good start to uh, to the nose. Wow. My hat's off. My hat's absolutely off uh, to Green River, uh, to Jacob Call, the master distiller there, for putting out what is an excellent bourbon. And this is, the proof on this is 90 proof. It's, it's, tasting, it's tasting above its proof. Uh, like on the palate, it's really spicy. Uh, it's cinnamon. Uh, it's, um, it's like a, like a black pepper 
this is this is a really really nice palette but like unlike a lot of 90 proof bourbons it doesn't feel watered down it doesn't feel uh like it'd be better cash drink i mean it, it tastes like it was proofed exactly where it needed to be would i like to see it bottled a bond absolutely would i like to taste it at cash drink to see what it would be like you bet but i can tell you right now as a 90 proof offering it's uh it's packing some uh packing a punch there on the back of the palate. I'm going in to taste one more time to see what else I can pick up. But on that first taste, that first taste, what really stood out to me uh, was the spice. So here we go. That spice is still very prominent. There's a little bit of like tapioca pudding here. Uh, there is... Uh, there's like chewing on, chewing on straw. You know, if anyone who'd ever uh, bailed hay or put hay up on a truck uh, or, or laid hay down or straw down to bed uh, horses or whatever, uh, you no doubt at some point put a little piece of straw in your in your mouth and chewed on it. Uh, it's got that little bit of a note, and that's not too far off from the kind of like the tree of of, of what things taste like from pipe tobacco. So uh, there's a, I smelled some pipe tobacco on the nose and then I'm tasting some like, you know, chewing on straw on the palate. But this is, uh, this is excellent for, for a release. Just, uh, this is, this is great for a release, for a first release from Green River. I'm gonna see now what the finish is. It actually, uh, a, a gentle, subtle sweetness kind of comes in, uh, like a vanilla, like a vanilla just kind of opens up like a vanilla icing on the tip of the palate, and it finishes with that. And if I had one really uh, major critique of this one, it's that the finish is not as long as the nose suggested it would be or as the first initial moments of the palate said it could be. So the finish is is a little bit, is a little bit, um, not as, it's not as long as I'd like it to see. But right now it's about a, it's about a short to medium finish. It's somewhere in between there. But for, for Green River, uh, for like their kind of resurrection of their distillery, the, the bringing back the, the, the Green River name to Jacob Call, I mean, this is, this is a great product to put out and uh cheers uh cheers to you all for that but i i will say you know to everybody who's out there looking for something different something new um you know this is going to be in the same conversation as you know any new product coming out right now i do think that you should get this uh this is it's a little bit historic but it's also it's also a bottle that uh it's pretty and the whiskey tastes pretty good so uh, good luck hunting it. I know it comes out tomorrow in Owensboro. So uh, I've got a link in the bio uh, to tell you, you know, a link to their to their distillery if you want to go out there and hunt it. Um, I may or may not be there. I should be there because there's barbecue. You call me with barbecue, I'm going to show up. But uh, just to give you some idea of like how big of a deal this is, like in years past, uh, stuff coming from that facility has not done as well for me in blind tastings and uh, this is this is why you never give up tasting on a distillery this is why you never give up on a distiller is because people get better um, processes get better and the tasting of this green river right here is an example of of a master distiller you know continuing their uh, their craft to, to to the point where they can put out something that will probably be you know the likes of uh Woodford Reserve, be competitive with like Knob Creek, Rare Breed, Wild Turkey 101. It's in that caliber of a, of a bourbon. And so cheers to that. And cheers to Owensboro for reclaiming a little little piece of bourbon history. But I uh, appreciate you all tuning in. Uh, no ascot today, just in a hoodie. Been, uh, been uh, working hard to the bone today in my hoodie. Go Pokes. 
but I appreciate everybody tuning in. If you haven't already, become a subscriber, click that subscribe button, and more details coming up about things happening uh, this year. Got the Blind Bourbon Tour coming up. Um, uh, of course, you know about my hot sauce. You know, there's a link to that on my in the description and the show notes. But that's going to do it here, folks. Appreciate you tuning in for this iPhone review. Cheers. <laughs>